If there's one thing about me, I love Taylor Swift merch. Let's put Karen on the shelf. It's a teeny tiny snow glow. This is literally giving don't talk to me or my son ever again. <laughs> and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, my name is Rachel. I make lots of videos about Taylor Swift as well as lots of other things as well. But today it's a Taylor Swift video, of course, and it is an unboxing, which I'm super excited about. So let's go. Christmas, but unfortunately due to merch delays on Taylor Swift's online store, it's happening now in February. Yes, so some of these things are from the Christmas collection. This was the Christmas collection they released. So we have some like ornaments. We also have some like merchandise as well. It was a huge haul. I was so excited about it. It was also like, I bought it for my birthday. So uh, some of these things, it was kind of expensive. I will admit like the merch itself. Cause like, again, it was for my birthday. It was like a nice little treat, um, but it didn't come for my birthday. It came two months later. But anyway, I'm still very, very excited about it because if there's one thing about me, I love Taylor Swift merch. So this merch is from the Taylor Swift Christmas collection. This was the collection that came out before Christmas. Unfortunately, like it got delayed everywhere. In the US, they were really lucky that they still managed to get their merch, but they also got a full refund. In the UK, that didn't happen. We did not get any kind of refund. The only thing we got was a 15% off voucher for the next time we shopped on the store which is a little bit disappointing considering the Christmas stuff came in February. But anyway, I'm still excited. If there's one thing about me, I love Taylor Swift merch. So let me show you what I got. This is quite a big haul. I was very, very excited about doing this video before Christmas because I was like, oh, nice merch for my birthday. But then obviously it didn't come. The only thing that did come because I ordered it separately was the Love a Snow Globe. I will show you a little bit about the Love a Snow Globe because it kind of fits with one of the products in this haul as well. Um, but that did come in time for Christmas, which was really great. And I've also done a full video on that if you want to check that out as well. That'd be so cool. But anyway, let let me show you this new merch I got. If you didn't know, I am from the UK. In the UK, we do not get any confetti with our order. It's not the end of the world, but yeah, we never get confetti with our order. So I do have the prices here. I'm kind of hesitant to say the prices. I'm just gonna say them on it in case people are curious, but I really wanna stress that this was for my birthday. Um, I was buying this for myself for my birthday. It was like a little treat. Um, I never normally spend this much on the Taylor Swift store, I promise. Um, but it's just because people ask me the prices anyway, so I might as well say. And you can also find out these prices for yourself. So I'll just put them in the video. Uh, please, no judging. Again, birthday, Christmas, it was for like a present. Um, so please, please don't judge. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna start off with the things that I'm most disappointed didn't come in time, and that is because they are ornaments. So I have a couple of Taylor Swift ornaments. I did a whole Taylor Swift Christmas tree um, for Christmas 2023, obviously. Um, these would have gone on that tree if they had arrived in time, but they hadn't. I don't know if I've mentioned, but the order was late. Uh, but I'm still very excited that they finally came. I didn't want to cancel the order, even though it was delayed, I didn't want to cancel it because I really wanted these things and they did sell out. Uh, I only got two of these um, and they were 20, I think they were 25 pounds each. Yes, yeah, so they were both they were both 25 pounds each, so 50 pounds for both of these. Now, I think that's a little bit expensive for an ornament, but I really, really wanted them. And again, it was a present, it was a present. We'll allow it this once. Um, so first up, we'll do this one. This is the Karen snake. So if you don't know the reason why it's called Karen uh, with a Y is because that's what Taylor Swift called the snake on the Reputation Tour. And this is what this snake is. So basically, if you didn't know, during the Look What You Made Me Do performance on the Reputation Tour, as she got to the bridge of the song, there was a giant inflatable snake that came up. That snake is called Karen and this is Karen. So unfortunately the box did arrive slightly damaged because there was like no protection in the box whatsoever. The box was just a cardboard box, which is a little bit sad because again, it was 25 pounds. I know it's only a cardboard box for the ornament, but when you're paying £25, you kind of want, you want good quality packaging, but unfortunately, no. Uh, so it's slightly damaged there. Um, there you go. And that's just the thing. So it is called the Karen one there. And that's what she looks like inside. Um, and also what's really interesting is all of like the boxes for like the ornaments when I bought them in the past, I think the main ones I have are kind of lover, but I also have some other ones as well. They all come in a box like this. So these are the colours on that for like the normal kind of Christmas ornaments, whereas the reputation one for this came in a black and white version, which is really cool. Um, so I do like that. Okay. Oh my gosh. Also, I know these are Christmas ornaments, but I'm still gonna have them like out 
because I have the lover sign so the sign that's like lover and that's a Christmas ornament but I keep it out because like one it was £25 I'm not only having it up once a year and really they're not like festive like with the baubles like fair enough I won't but because these are like ornaments like I think I can have them out I can justify just having them on my shelf um at least I think I can so this is Karen um there you go honestly it's heavier than i expected i didn't expect it to be like as heavy as it it was obviously it's not like really really heavy like it's still light but i thought it was going to be cheaper material so i was i was pleasantly surprised um i did so with the like clothes i kept them in the packaging but with the ornaments i had to unbox it as soon as i got it which was a few days ago uh but yeah there you go so karen's face isn't the best she doesn't look exactly like the karen did actually on the tour but she's still cute she's still cute she's got like that was what karen's like teeth look like um so yeah but it's not it's not exactly um it's not exactly the same if we're being really really picky um so there you go you can see it she's got kind of like a purpley pink tint to her as well and then i love this so this is like obviously to hang it like on your christmas tree and it says taylor swift which is it's really cute i do like that um and if you like really really wanted to um, you could take this bit off say if you just wanted to have it as like decoration you could probably like twist this to take it off as well um so yeah I'm actually I'm pleasantly surprised with this I'm glad I didn't cancel this because I think it's cute and like when we eventually get Reputation Taylor's version whenever that may be she will look really good with the album so that's Karen uh, should we put Karen back or is Karen gonna make it Karen's gonna make it to the shelf let's put Karen on the shelf actually she blocks my name so let's put Karen behind the Rachel there we go so that is the first of the items that was 25 pounds from taylor swift's online store um currently it's not available uh because again it was like a christmas ornament but it may come back in time for christmas so next up now if you know you'll know i already own the lover snow so if you know, you'll know I already own the Love of Snow Globe. This is what the Love of Snow Globe looks like. This is the re-release, the 2023 re-release from the All of the Stars Aligned Collection. Now I did a full video kind of unboxing this and talking a little bit about it. It is really, really nice. Uh, I'm really glad I got this. I think it's actually nicer than the original version they released as well because this base is um, bigger and it just looks a bit... I don't know it just looks nicer for me anyway uh so yeah this is what the big one looks like the big one was 50 pounds now this did come in time for christmas but the other one which i'm guessing you can guess what it's gonna be it uh, did not come in time for christmas but let me show you anyway okay so it comes pretty much in the exact same box that the normal one came in so the like big lover snow glow came in and it also is protected as well by polystyrene like the big one so that's really good because obviously with the karen snake one it was just in plastic it wasn't really properly secure whereas with this one it is because obviously it is slightly different it is a snow globe and also it's not just like a little snow globe decoration which is what i was expecting so it was 25 pounds but i was expecting it just to kind of be like not an actual snow globe but it is it's a teeny tiny snow globe like i think that's really cute and this was 25 pounds but i think this one was more worth it than the karen one i think because again it's a tiny snow globe that's so cool um it's also like really really like accurate as well like it's it's similar to the main one so it's got i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this because of the lighting but it says lover up lover on the front there like it does in the main one and then the taylor swift on the back as well um that is what the little like ornament holder thingy looks like as well so you can see that very very pretty but yeah i was i was very very pleasantly surprised with this i think it is pretty cool that it is it's a teeny tiny snow globe i mean what else can you say it's a teeny tiny snow globe if you want to see the size difference as well this is literally giving don't talk to me or my son ever again <laughs> but i yeah i really like it obviously it doesn't have as much snow in it um than the main one because this is a lot bigger um and i also find it very funny that this is less than a half of the size but it was only half the price so honestly this worth it 50 pounds this 25 pounds and it's teeny tiny but yeah, it's still really, really good, to be honest. I am, again, very, very pleasantly surprised with the quality of this. I think this is, like, the coolest Taylor Swift merch I have. I think it's cooler than the big one, because this one, yeah, it's a snow globe. But this one's tiny. How many tiny snow globes do you see? You don't see them a lot, whereas you see big ones a lot. Um, can you tell them? I'm very excited about it. I'm very excited. She's really cool. Okay. I'm gonna put the little snow globe down. You're just gonna think, Rachel, it's just a teeny tiny snow globe. But it's a teeny tiny snow globe. That's cool. Um, so yeah. You know what'd be really cool? If they made even smaller ones that you could have as like earrings, because this is too heavy for an earring. But if they made it smaller, how cute would that be for earrings? 
the answer is very oh i don't like the sound of polystyrene don't like that but she is very nice and secure actually she is also going to make it to the shelf she's so cute happy with that honestly that i'm very pleasantly surprised with pleasantly surprised that doesn't happen a lot actually i think it does i do say pleasantly surprised a lot you always i like to be surprised okay next up no this isn't the cardigan taylor did the holiday collection for 2023 they did they did this thing called all the stars align collection and essentially it was merch that had kind of been like limited edition that was coming back in stock so they had some of the cardigans come back in stock i didn't manage to get any of the cardigans i think i only saw like three people got the cardigans but they did come back in stock on the us store they also have midnight's the late night edition the one that you could get at the tour that came in stock but it didn't come in stock on the uk store but um this isn't the cardigan i already have the cardigan to be fair so i'm not gonna complain too much but it is the same material as the cardigan because it is the cardigan scarf now it's still cold here in england it's fair it's still quite pretty cold so it didn't come too late it's not like it came in like june um so yeah it's pretty much the same material probably a uh, slightly less thick compared to the cardigan but it does still have the patches so the patches uh, they are like the ones that you have on the actual cardigan uh, which I do like. I think that's cute. Um, I I'm a big fan of the cardigan. How much was this? I actually can't remember. Okay, the scarf was £40. Actually, that's quite a lot. When you consider when I first bought the cardigan, that was about £49. Also, fun fact, when they brought the cardigans back, they made them more expensive than they originally were, which is a bit suspicious. But anyway, I think it's quite cute. Um, and then on the other side as well, you've got the Taylor Swift cat patch. So the patch I have on my folklore cardigan is the folklore one because it was the original folklore cardigan rather than the newer one that had the Taylor Swift patch on. But this has the Taylor Swift patch on the scarf here. I think £40 is a lot considering I paid £9 more for the full cardigan when it came out in 2020. But I do still think it's nice. Um, it's comfortable. It will keep me warm. So I can't complain too much. And I do like that it's got the embroidered patch and the embroidered um, Tales of the Embroidered Stars. I think that's... I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Was it too expensive? Probably for what it is. It's a scarf. Maybe 30, 25 pounds to 30 would have been a slightly better price range. Uh, but yeah, I think it's nice. And I am glad I got it. And this was one that like saw that quite quickly as well, because the people love the cardigan. The people love the cardigan and anything to do with the cardigan, they love. And it's for a reason. It's a cute, it's a cute thing. And it's very like recognizable. So big fan. We've got two more. What do we go with first? You know what? I'm going to save this one till last. This one is, what is this called? This is called the Folklore Album Film Strip Crew Neck Pullover and it was £55. Uh, so merch is always expensive for artists, like it's kind of known. Uh, and it was my own personal choice to buy this before and I was like, oh my gosh, why did you pay £55 for this? It's because I'll probably wear it. It's a very me thing. Um, and I love folklore. So um, it doesn't say the colour on this, but I thought this was black when I saw it on the website, but it's more of a navy. Now, I'm not going to complain about that because I love a navy jumper, but I definitely thought it was black on the website. Like, that is something I definitely thought. Okay, so this is the front. Uh, so, obviously, it's the folklore film reel. So, you can see the quality there. The quality is pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, I am concerned, though, that the pattern won't last. I think I'm always kind of worried now whenever it comes to, like, Taylor Swift merch because of the Eras Tour merch that did not survive the washing machine. It did not survive the washing machine that it, it won't survive so i'm always very worried about that and i can see this design because of the way it is kind of cracking or kind of like coming off quite easily just because the way it's like printed um but i'm hoping that's not the case because i'd be sad because again it was 55 pounds it's quite a lot but i do like this i love a navy jumper so um yeah i'm a big fan of a navy jumper and then on the sleeve you've also got a folklore album so it says folklore album on the sleeve there which is cute. So I think my other folklore jumper has that as well. I have just like a folklore jumper I got back at the uh, when it came out and there's nothing on this sleeve, but on the back, and this is one of the reasons I kind of wanted it was because it has the stars from the cardigan on it. So they're slightly different in terms of embroidered, to be honest, the better quality, because they're kind of like actually properly in the material. Whereas you look at the cardigan, they're kind of like stuck on top almost. I don't know how well you can see that, but they're more like stuck on top because you can see there's like a little gap. Whereas these one, there's no gap. They're like fully on the jumper. So I definitely think that's better quality in terms of that. Like if we're going to be technical, I'm not very technical. I don't know a lot about like textiles and stuff, but some of you may know why the reason for that is. Maybe it's because that's kind of like wool, whereas this like isn't. But that is very good that it's, this feels better quality in terms of those. Um, they might not be as thick. Ah, 
yeah they're probably not as thick as the one that's on the cardigan so i'm just having a feel they're not as thick but i do think it's better that they're closer on they don't feel like they'd come off whereas sometimes even when i wear my original cardigan i'm always a bit wary that these all come off uh, i think just because they've got little gaps uh, which you can see a little bit there whereas these these won't come off because they are fully in the jumper which i do like uh, and i got this in a size small the cardigan was just um like one size fits all whereas this i got in a size small that's the like info on it for anyone who wants to know um and the pictures of taylor on this folklore like film reel it's one uh of taylor like looking up it's from the folklore photo shoot another one of her just looking at the camera and then one of her with like the space buns in kind of turning around and then it's like a film reel and it says taylor swift on it as well and there's like a, a lot of stars around it so i think that's quite cool it's navy i actually really like this it's actually quite nice uh pleasantly surprised with this i definitely did think it was going to be black but i'm actually happier that it's not so yeah i'm not going to complain and i'll try it on in a second as well but just for a bit of reference here uh, this is a size small i'm five foot one i am quite small i usually get like a uk kind of like size four slash six for anyone who is like curious about sizes i always feel weird talking about sizes online but people i know like because merch is quite expensive they kind of want to know what the sizes are so that's kind of why i'm saying it but i still feel a bit weird talking about it so please don't ask too many questions about that but anyway um let me try this on yes i am wearing a play suit and leggings underneath um it's because i'm recording a video i normally wouldn't do this it's just because i didn't put any fake tan on my legs and i didn't want you all to see that so <laughs> okay so this is what it looks like it's quite thin material this it's not a thick jumper one compared to the reputation one that's quite thick so this is what it looks like on um quite nice quite nice uh, i'd say this is relatively true to size as well so this is a small i would say this is a small i'd say it's actually quite a small small i'm um, just trying to pull it obviously you would not have it like this you would not pull it down this much um you would probably usually kind of have it more like you know when you just have it more like that but like if you were to have it down that's how long it would be like on me it just goes below where my play suit would normally go um but obviously if you're having a jumper you usually kind of have it like more like that and then on the back looks like on the back yeah i'd say this is relatively true to size probably smaller slightly smaller um you can see there the stars on the back wherever they are uh can you see the stars on the back this is difficult <laughs> there you go you can see the stars on the back there and you can see the folklore album text that's on the right sleeve as well pretty much true to size but it is probably slightly smaller than some of the other merch but it's not as small i don't know if you remember back in the day but the 1989 tour like the 1989 tour and the 1989 merch was small that was actually really small um whereas this it's kind of like it's not that small but i'd say it's still pretty small <laughs> that is what i would that's my review of and then you can see the folklore album it's actually i think this suits me if i do say so myself I think this is really i'm really happy i'm so glad this is navy because i used to not really be a fan of navy and then i got this Maisie peters good witch quarter zip and it's like my favorite piece of merch ever sorry taylor um you need to release a navy quarter zip and last but not least so truth be told i'm gonna confession time um they didn't tell me that this order was going to come they just surprised they were like surprise it's shipped and it came the next day so usually if they send you an email on the uk store to say it's shipped it will come the next day uh, i truth be told was going to cancel this from my order so it's the most expensive item it was 85 pounds and it's a hoodie which i think is a lot i think for tour merch it's slightly different you usually pay more for tour merch i don't know why but i just like i'm fine with that whereas this wasn't tour merch and i think it's quite a lot in my personal opinion i think it's quite expensive uh but when i saw it i was like I'll, i need this i need it and we all thought reputation taylor's version was coming obviously we have a new album coming instead but to be fair at the time of recording and the time of releasing this who knows taylor swift might have just surprised drop reputation you never know you never know with taylor swift but anyway i got it this is the what's it called the there will be no explanation there will just be re uh, so that's what it says on the actual order but obviously it needs reputation uh, so there you go um and i got this in a size xs slash small um and it's color charcoal there you go and it says oversized hoodie as well so a lot of the reputation tour merch is oversized like the original reputation tour merch so it's kind of nice that they're kind of like throwing it back to make the oversized as well i quite like that i'm hoping this is good quality um otherwise i'll be sad and it may be my sister who gets this because my aesthetic is more kind of like pink and i know i have just bought this and i do have a lot of reputation merch but i'm more pink but honestly i'm actually quite liking this i thought it was going to be darker it's definitely more of a gray and you can see the taylor swift on it better i didn't think 
based on the picture on the website, I thought this was going to kind of be more like the navy crew neck from the tour where you can't really see the pattern on it. Um, but like you can't really see that it says Taylor Swift that well. Whereas this, you can actually see it. Okay, fair, okay, fair enough. It's good quality. I'll give it its due. It's good quality. I'm not happy about it, but it is. So <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, it is definitely oversized. It's a chocolate. It's a gorgeous colour. Okay, fair enough. This is quite nice. I'm glad I didn't cancel it. Uh, so it says Taylor Swift all over the front. If you can't see what that says, basically it just says Taylor Swift kind of like in the reputation font uh, like multiple times and it's like a charcoal. It's kind of a lighter charcoal colour. It's also got a big like pocket at the bottom as well. Um, it's not like soft inside, you know, some jumpers are like soft inside, but sometimes they don't last. But it feels like it'll still be warm. Like that's the material that's inside the jumper. Uh, it, it actually doesn't look great on the camera, but it, it's like a nice material. It's a material I'd like. Like almost like a toweling material, but like not a toweling material. Maybe I should do a course in textile, so when I explain these things to you, you guys understand. There's also a hood. Uh, the hood is just a normal hood. It's quite a big hood. I feel like when I put this on, I'm kind of gonna look like some kind of Jedi. Um, so I'm excited for that. In terms of the sleeve, on the left sleeve, there's nothing on the left sleeve, uh, but on the right sleeve, I think we've got a snake. I want it, yeah, we've got a snake. Does it say T? Yeah, so on the right sleeve going down, there's just a normal snake. This is slightly different than the snake that you, that was on other Taylor Swift merch, so maybe this is kind of going to be the, like, the snake that's going to be on Reputation Taylor's merch, version merch? Because uh, it is different than the one that's on the tour merch um because there's nothing it's just like a black snake like yeah and then it says t and an s again in that kind of like old english sort of font i would say it's an old english font i don't know what the font is called but i would say that's what it was and then on the back this is why it's got the name it says again in the old english kind of font there will be no explanation there will just be reputation and the explanation and reputation are underlined which is quite cool I do like that and the font the color of the font is black for anyone who is curious like it is pretty black and i would also because of this, and because I know when I washed my Eras Tour merch, the black ink came out. That was the issue, I think, when people were washing it, the black ink just was like, bye. So when I wash this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the trick where you get like baking paper, greaseproof paper, whatever you wanna call it, put it on, iron it, and then do it on a cold wash. Because then it kind of preserves it better. It preserves that pattern better than it kind of just fading in the wash. Because obviously it's a black, colour like it's black text on it on a charcoal jumper so you can very much see it not lasting that long but I'm hoping if I take good enough care of it it will but I'll keep you all updated I'll keep you updated because I feel like when you spend £85 on merch you want it to last I'm not gonna say it won't last and I'm actually quite happy with the quality of this it's quite heavy it reminds me I don't know if any of you bought this but the Reputation Eras hoodie so they had like a red uh, not a Reputation sorry the red Eras one so you know where they have the red kind of like Taylor Eras things I, I bought the hoodie for that and it's really good quality and this reminds me of that because it's quite heavy so to be fair I'm actually quite happy with this I do I think £85 is still a lot but I do think it's better quality than I was expecting, so I'm not like too mad about it. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Also, let me show you what it looks like on. Let me, let me, let me show you, because you might want to see. Um, for reference for these, so, okay, and now we have the Reputation one. So let's try this on. Uh, so it's oversized, it's like the original Reputation kind of uh, tour merch, and the Reputation merch itself, it was all quite oversized. That was kind of the style. So... Okay. Again, oh, for reference, five foot one. <laughs> I look like when you, I don't know, there's like a meme online with a mannequin, and the mannequin, like the head's coming out really. I, I don't know what the meme, I don't know what it is, but I look like that right now. Okay, let me kind of. Um, I'm never putting this hood up ever. To be fair, the hood's not as big as I thought it would be. So in terms of the Reputation Tour merch, I do have the black hoodie and the white hoodie, and this is definitely smaller than that. Like, it's definitely oversized, but it's not as oversized as the Reputation Tour merch. Now this is, again, this is XS slash S, so it's an extra small slash small. Uh, so that's what it looks like on the front. This is what the hood looks like on, for anyone who is curious what the hood looks like on. I can still see. I can still see. It's pretty cute. Um, but it's obviously like it, it goes more over than probably the average <laughs> I think this looks so funny because I'm like such a pink girly whenever I wear anything like this it's like Rachel you, you like you trying too hard I quite like it though this would be great <gasps> this would be so good on a plane oh uh, next time I go to a plane I'm wearing this because like imagine you can just kind of pull it down a little bit and just go to sleep okay anyway that's beside the point on the back this is what the back looks like 
Uh, so you can see the back, uh, that's with the arms out. <laughs> I'm really trying to show the sizes here because the people are always curious about the sizes. So if you're going to buy it second hand, um, I'm doing my best. Uh, and that's what it looks like if I do that on the front, if you want to see. Because <laughs> I know people are curious about how kind of like the fit is. So this is what the fit is. I'm trying. I look like a fool online for you people. I hope you appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, um, so actually quite cute. Um, this pocket isn't the most secure pocket, I would say, because it's kind of like it falls down. You know what I mean? Like it's not a hoodie that you could kind of like do this with because it kind of like it, it naturally kind of falls down like this you could wear it as a dress though but yeah it's definitely oversized but yeah it's definitely oversized but it's not like ridiculously oversized so i think i did a try on of era's tour merch and that's really oversized so i have the era's tour hoodie and that's even longer than this and bigger than this and the hood just goes like completely like this whereas this one doesn't so honestly pretty cute i probably prefer it with the hood up actually It's so funny, I'm sorry. I just don't think I suit it in the slightest, but it's actually kind of like cute. I think it's cute. Uh, but anyway, uh, that is what it looks like on. And I actually, I'm actually pleasantly surprised with all of this merch. So you're going to be able to figure it out. So I'm just going to tell you the total. Um, again, I really want to stress this was uh, Christmas and birthday. It was a treat for myself. I work and that is how I pay for my things. Um, it was from me. Uh, to me. I don't I don't need to explain the reasoning behind this but I know like sometimes I get questions and again you're not any more or less of a fan just because like you can buy merch. I'm in a very very fortunate position where like I have disposable income I can spend it on something like Taylor Swift. I only really collect Taylor Swift things I don't collect other things um yeah I feel like I, I know I don't need to justify it but I also like really want to and I also really want to stress like if you're like younger and stuff I know like a lot of like younger people watch my channel so hi um don't feel like you're any less of a fan because you can't afford these things like if you're at school obviously most people like if you're at like, high school like might not work and stuff like it is it's very very different obviously i'm 24 like i work i know it's a big long-winded thing but i all i always really want to stress whenever i kind of make any videos whether it's about vinyl or merch that you're not any more or less of a fan because you can you're fortunate enough to be able to buy the merch like i'm in a very very lucky position i do recognize that um but yeah i just i just kind of wanted to say that because i always feel like sometimes people will comment on it saying like you'd like bragging or showing off and that's actually never my intention ever ever um because i never want people to think that i only kind of show the stuff so people know if they're gonna buy it especially if they're buying things like secondhand where it can be more expensive that's why i'm showing you me doing things like putting my arms out looking a little bit like a fool because i, I don't want people to kind of spend their money on something and then it be different than what they were expecting so I think by showing you these things I'm kind of showing you what it's like um if you were to buy it because obviously things are different when you see them online and like in person and like on videos and stuff so yeah I hope it helped um but yeah I just I just wanted to say that a little bit just so nobody ever feels like they're any like less or more of a fan because of merch because you're not it's just merch at the end of the day and a lot of people don't like Taylor Swift merch because like her face is on it or her name is all over it but I'm somebody who loves to have Taylor Swift's name all over myself so <laughs> yeah the total was £233.95 so for the merch it was 230 and for the shipping it was £3.95 I've never spent that much on Taylor Swift merch ever um ever again it was just because it was kind of like a Christmas present two of these things are obviously like Christmas ornaments as well so that was £50 worth of ornaments uh, the jumpers I do wear Taylor Swift jumpers a lot like yeah anyway I don't need to just justify it but I just I want to just so nobody's like mm -mm -mm -mm. or nobody goes and says oh my gosh Rachel's like the worst person in the entire world I can't believe she's spent that much on merch like I don't often do that uh, but I saw these items and I like them and I knew they were going to sell out um so yeah that's the reason I just I just wanted to explain because I just yeah I know I don't need to but I still kind of wanted to just to I hope, yeah, now I feel really awkward because that is such a weird way to end a video. But anyway, I hope you liked this video. I hope it kind of showed you a lot about the Taylor, Taylor Swift merch. Let me know in the comments what your favourite item was from the Christmas collection or if you bought anything from the Christmas collection. I'm very sorry that this video was delayed. I didn't want it to be delayed. I wanted to get it out obviously on time. But unfortunately, um, the shipping people were not on my side. Uh, but it has finally come and I'm very excited that it came. Um, I think this stuff is quite cute. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm probably going to keep the stuff. I won't return it, I think. But yeah, that is everything. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, have a great day.